Hi and welcome back to Normski TV, doing another Transfer Daily, all things Arsenal, ins and outs, and uh, got some news here, interesting news here, concerning our, um, uh, our, our what, what can I call them, our rivals, Chelsea. Um, we seem to be interested in um, Tammy Abrams, according um, to uh, Football London and, and other news outlets. Um, Chelsea want to get rid of um, Tammy Abrams because obviously they've got I Kai Averts and Werner, Timo Werner. And I know they're trying to go in for a big time player in, in Haaland, but um, it seems as if um, Tammy Abrams hasn't really had much of a look in last season. And there's talk that um, Arsenal are interested in Tammy Abrams. And uh, according to, as I say, the reports, um, you know, they want to maybe possibly go in for him. Um, he's, they're talking a, a figure of around £40 million. That's the value at which Tammy Abrams is valued at. He's 23 years old. I know there were some other clubs um, that are interested in him, but it seems now Arsenal have turned their attention to Tammy Abrams. And um guy, guy is quite tall, so it kind of bring a, a kind of different... Um, probably style of play um, with Arsenal is you know he's good in the air um, last season early part of last season he was scoring a lot of goals under Frank Lampard but then that dried up um, but yeah um, look if we do go for him um, the talk is it's 40 million he's valued at 40 million pounds um, is it somebody that um, Arsenal should go for um, Lacazette at the moment, um, he's got a year left on his deal. Uh, you've obviously got a Bamian who's on £350,000, but he's got two years left. Would you go for Tammy Abrams? As I said, we are tied up when it comes to links in, and rumours. And um, this is just another one that's coming out today that Arsenal are keen on him. Um, I don't know what you think. Put it in the comments. Do you think... This would be a good move. Would you spend 40 million? He's got a ceiling there because he's only 23 years old. So he's, he's young. But would you go for a Tammy Abrams? Um, it will bring a, a different kind of style of football up front. Um, you know, he's very tall and lanky, rangy. Is he good in the air? I suppose he is. Um, but there's other times where he has missed some chances in that. So I, I don't know. I... I don't know, but this is what the Telegraph is reporting that um, Arsenal could be, um, Tammy Abrams could be attracting attention from Arsenal as Chelsea look to offload this player. So let's see what happens concerning that. Um, is he a player that you would like on your books? Um, let's carry on um, looking at some other news that's coming out. Uh, and I'll probably want to read that at the end. That's a Saka statement that's come out. Obviously, the stuff that he's gone through, we want to just kind of just um, read what he said. But let's look at some other stuff um, concerning Arsenal. And um, as I scroll through my phone, um, Arsenal, they're saying they're hopeful on uh, Ben White. Um, as you well know, we've been chasing Ben White for a while now. Um, I spoke about it yesterday. You know, you know they're not going to stand in his way, according to uh, Sky uh, Sports News are re reporting this as well. They're not going to stand in uh, Ben White's way. Um, you know, we've had two bids turned down, even though, contrary to reports that um, Arsenal are not even, even uh, Brighton have not even received a bid yet. But you know, these are the news. This is the news that is coming out. So we've had two bids turned down. Um, Brighton won't stand in his way. Apparently, he's delayed his holiday because he wants a move to Arsenal. But obviously, in order for this to happen, you know, Brighton are probably looking at 50 million plus add-ons and that will probably make the move happen. So, they are saying that um, Arsenal are hopeful of getting this deal over the line. It might be another week, two weeks before we see anything. Hopefully, he can get this done before he um, goes on holiday. Um, whether he's going to join if he does join, make it to um, the pre-season in, 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 in America, I doubt it very much. But this thing has been rumbling on for 
weeks now and um you know we just need to see something happen you know it it, it can get rather repetitive and, and boring sometimes and it, you know i'll sound like a scratch record um so hopefully something will happen with regards to that now granite shaka um they're saying that this deal is imminent it's drawing very close uh, we know that um, Arsenal at the moment, they want 20 million euros and they still seem to be far apart on the fee. But news coming out again um, from Sky Sport Italia that um, Roma uh, are willing to up their deal. Um, there's figures banding around of 80 million euros. Now, whether that's going to change Arsenal's mind, I don't know. But it's probably a move in the right direction. Hopefully they can come to some kind of compromise. You know, Granit Xhaka wants to go to Roma. Roma wants him. And we just want to see this deal get done because I think once we get that deal done, we can then go for our preferred um, midfielder. Um, and it, this, and this thing just seems to be dragging on. Even before he went to the Euros, you know, there was talk about him definitely leaving personal terms of being agreed on all of that and it's just a case of um, Arsenal and Roma agreeing but it just seems still they're far apart on, on the, the fee but coming out today that um, Roma are willing to up the fee and there's a figure of around 18 million euros as I say don't know if that's the definite figure but that's just some of the, the stuff that I'm seeing around on um, social media so let's see what happens concerning that um now um there was some other news that i did see and as i excuse me because I'm, I'm 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 trying to scroll through and find um the information now there was one bit of news i did see um and that was okay just to say um Lekonga, um that's drawing very close i think he's choosing his shirt number which is the shirt number that he wears at and the left number 48 that could change but at the moment that's the number we're looking at he's coming in that should be that deal should be announced um soon obviously he's going through his quarantine period at the moment and hopefully he will be able to join arsenal in their pre-season in america and they can get more of a good look on him. There, I was heard that there's rumours that, that there may be a situation where he could be, um, he could actually be put back out on loan, maybe back to his old club and the like. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Why spend nearly 80 million pounds on a player plus add-ons only just to loan him back out? It sounds like the Saliba situation at the moment. But again, we'll have to wait and see concerning that. I'm hoping that is not the case. The Usamawa, I spoke about that yesterday, that Arsenal closing on Usamawa. This keeps changing. <laughs> it keeps changing. As you know, the rumours are coming in, flooding in all the time. So you, I can only read what's in the newspapers, what's in the um, outlets, the sporting outlets and stuff like that. So here they're saying now that Arsenal now are in second place <laughs> with regards to um, the, the running for um, Osama Wild Tottenham are the front runners for his signature. Um, apparently they can offer him more wages. But Arsenal... When it comes to wages, as you well know, you only got to look at Aubameyang, you only got to look at Ozil, we should be able to pay the wages. I would hope that he would want to come to Arsenal if that is the case. But now they're saying that Arsenal now, uh, um, Tottenham are in the box seat concerning Usman Wahl. So yesterday, we was close to signing him in. Again, remember, this is just rumours. This is just rumours. So I can only report on the rumours. So don't quote me. I'm only reading what I see um, on the, um, the news outlets. Um... Getting the Bellerin situation, he's pushing strongly um, to leave the club. You know, obviously, Inter Milan is the club, the choice, first choice club that he wants to go to. I think Arsenal would want to, um, if they could sell him and get the money for him, that'd be good. But because the 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 Italian clubs are strapped for cash, it might be a case of um, doing a loan with an obligation to buy, not an option, an obligation to buy. So if that deal does happen, it has to be that. Um, whatever the loan deal will be, I don't know. But we need, as I said, to get Bellerin off our books as uh, as, as quick as possible. Um, there was another one, the Madison. And yesterday I said to you yesterday that, um, uh, you know, Liverpool were interested in um, 
uh, I forgot the Tillemans. Um, they said they were interested in him uh, and that it might scupper our chances for going for Madison. Well, now we're hearing that, um, obviously Madison wants to come to Arsenal. Um, we, we talked about the fact that Arsenal have offered him a five-year deal, 200 bags a week, um, and that Leicester are open to selling him. That's, and again, the news coming out, looking at um, uh, Football London, that, you know, as long as they get the fee, as long as they get the fee or Arsenal meet the fee, which is going to be about 60 million plus, then he could be our man. He would be good to come in, um, you know, playing in that number 10 role. Um, very good player, scores goals. We do need a creative player, someone that can score goals. Very much in the mould, even though he could play as a number eight um, because he, he, he comes from deep, a bit, a bit like um, Aaron Ramsey, you know what I mean, and r arriving late in the penalty area. So he's somebody that we could actually, hopefully, if Arsenal say they've got the money, go for him and, and try and do this business. Leicester are willing to let him go, according to reports. And if Arsenal meet the fee, then there's a chance that we could get him. But as I said, it's a long way away. Um, we need to get rid of a lot of players, Kolasinac, Torreira. I mean, there's even talk about Torreira possibly staying here. I mean, you're hearing all these different news um, coming out. Um, you know, when he comes back off, off of, of his holiday, you know, there's talk about him maybe doing a U-turn and staying. Don't know. Again, we'll have to just watch this space concerning this. But what I do say and what I want is that for Arsenal now to start getting the likes of Bellerin out, getting the likes of Granite Shaka out. If we get Klasnac out, I don't care what he costs, get him out. Reese Nelson, Maitland Niles, these are players that I personally think need to be moved on. We need to get the cash in so that we can, you know, because I say pre season is here now. You know, we're around about four, just under four weeks, maybe just over four weeks away from um, the season starting. And we want to get players in, bed them in, bed them in through pre-season and get them ready for the start of the season. Brentford is our first game away. It's going to be a tough game. They're going to be up for it. They're going to probably have a crowd there. So we make sure that our players are well gelled together and that we go into that game. So let's see what happens concern in that. Um... I don't think there's any other news. I'm just, just checking through now just to make sure. But yeah, there's no other news. Um, just to say, I'm just, just, just a quick one here. Um, this is just, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is from Buraka Saka. Um, and he's, he just sort of said in the Twitter that he goes, I'm sorry that we couldn't bring it on for you, but I promise you that we will give everything to make sure this generation knows how it feels to win. And that's um, Birka Saka. And I hope that, you know, when he does come back to Arsenal, that he gets all the love, all the love for it, you know, for him. And obviously, going around to all the different stadiums, yes, we know there's going to be people booing, but Saka, listen, we're there for you. We're backing you all the way, mate. And come back stronger and just do it. Do it for Arsenal, mate. You're our talisman and we want to see you do it for Arsenal. Guys, again, thank you for subscribing to the channel. Those that have subscribed that are new, thank you very much for subscribing. Please like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next Transfer Daily. Take care.